So typically I say that Saturday is all day, but in this case, Monday is all day. What's up, Will? Hey, what's up, Dustin? Thanks for having me on. Oh man, thanks for coming on here. You have been super busy. Not only have you main evented the last three weeks of championship wrestling presented by Pro Shingle, but you also premiered on live pay-per-view, United Wrestling Network's primetime live to be exact. Man, how are you keeping up with all this stuff, man? You're everywhere. Well, you know, that that's kind of my mentality. That's what I expect. You know, I didn't get into this to be part of the team or, you know, sitting on the sidelines. I got into this to be uh, sitting on the mountaintop, to be the top guy. And, you know, that's what I'm shooting for. And that's, you know, where my path is leading me right now. And anytime I'm not in that spot, it pisses me off a little bit. I understand. You're absolutely killing it right now. Um, but before we get to what's going on here recently, I know that you were tearing it up before the pandemic. So how has the pandemic affected you personally in your in your professional career? And then talk about kind of the comeback because we're performing now without fans. And a lot of what you do really excites the fans. So it's got to be a lot different for you. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, it, it wasn't just me, though. It was everybody. The world stopped turning. And, you know, we kind of had to figure out how to lead our lives, you know, with this new, like the new reality we're living in. And, you know, it, it just takes being malleable or adaptable to be able to conquer what's coming next. And I think that, you know, if you're part of any industry, if you can't adapt, then you're just going to get left behind. And so that's really what I've been focusing on. And, uh, you know, fans or no fans, this is what I was born to do. And so to me, it's just straight business. And, you know, I like doing it either way. But to me, it, it really doesn't matter. I understand. Now, you told me that you were in England like the week before the pandemic hit. So you just got back into the country and then everything shut down. Yeah, I didn't know if they uh, were trying to throw me a parade or what, but uh, it, it ended up being a pandemic. Uh, you know, it was it was leading into some of the biggest opportunities of my life uh, coming back from that tour in England. But, you know, it shut down and everybody's opportunities got thrown down the drain. So I'm just sitting there, you know, trying to find my path just as long or just as well as everybody else. And I, I think you're going to see a changing of the guard, you know, with a lot of people kind of getting out of this business and, you know, new people rising to the top. And I'm going to make sure that I'm one of them. Yeah. Talking about new people right there. I learned about Will all day. It's been probably a year and a half, maybe two years ago, where we booked you for Grind City Wrestling Night at FedEx Forum with the Memphis Grizzlies. And my buddy Action Jackson actually kind of turned me on to you. And I said, hey, man, I trust you. Bring him on. And ever since that moment of you wrestling at FedEx Forum, uh, which was crazy, by the way, now that I really know your style, I can understand like wrestling in the rafters at FedEx Forum is not necessarily your cup of tea because you're diving over the top <laughs> rope and, it, you know, you're all true. over the place. But that's where I first learned about Will All Day. Yeah, and you know what? It, it was an awesome opportunity to, to be able to wrestle in another arena and, you know, in front of that many fans. It was it was pretty cool that early in my career. And, you know, I'm, I'm always grateful to have opportunities. But, you know, at the end of the day, you got to take advantage of them. And I think, you know, that's what I did. No, I totally agree with you because one of the first guys that I called when we were doing the birthday bash at AutoZone Park that unfortunately was was postponed due to the, pan, due to the pandemic – is I wanted to see an Action Jackson versus Will All Day match to where you guys could do what you do. And anybody that hasn't been to FedEx Forum and seen a Grind City Wrestling Night, the ring is in the rafters. Like, you can't dive out of the ring. There's nowhere to dive out of the ring. You can. It's hard enough getting in and out of the ring because it's up in the rafters, but that's, that's the match crazy. that I wanted to see. And then fast forward to now, you have been the main event the last three weeks, and on Primetime Live last Tuesday – you got on to Adnan, the ring announcer, and said, hey, you announced me the right way. I am the main event. So what is it like, man, seriously, being the main event in Memphis, Tennessee, which a lot of people think is like the home of professional wrestling. But each and every week, man, you're the main event. 
Yeah, you know, like I said, you know, it, it's expected. That's my goal. That's what I aspired to because, I, like I said before, I don't want to be just another guy. I want to be the guy. And so, you know, anything I can do to help that come to fruition, I'm going to do. You haven't been wrestling that long either, right? No. Uh, January 2018 is uh, when I started. So two and a half years, you know, if you count this whole – pandemic right right that is incredible after two and a half years not only are you traveling and winning championships everywhere but not only being on television and being on live pay-per-view but and also being in the main event dude that is kudos to you that's absolutely tremendous tell me about primetime live what were the nerves like what what was different being live than it was you know being taped well first of all thank you very much and uh you know what uh it's it's really not that different for me because I go out there trying to execute flawlessly. I try to do everything right the first way. I try to be smooth. I try to be crisp. And I, I've done live before, so there was there were no butterflies in that sense. There are butterflies in the sense that I'm excited, that I'm ready, that I feel like I belong here. And so, you know, once I stepped onto that stage, I kind of had a calmness because this is what I was born to do. And, and I love it. I love every minute of it. Your style is fantastic, too. And I'm not just putting you over just because you're here on the podcast. You're literally one of my favorite wrestlers to watch. And I see I see a lot of maybe Dolph Ziggler in you. And I'm sure you get all the time HBK, Shawn Michaels. What do people – who do people compare you to when you see, like, on Twitter or when you're talking to people? You know, that's funny. Um, I uh, – for the longest time until I actually started wrestling – I had only seen a handful of Shawn Michaels matches. So really? it, yeah, it, it was nothing done on purpose. I, I'm not like, I think he's fantastic. I think he's amazing, but it wasn't, it wasn't on purpose. That wasn't like my goal is to be like Shawn Michaels or emulate Shawn Michaels. I do, however, really enjoy Dolph Ziggler. So maybe that's where a lot of the similarities come in. Uh, but a lot of the times I get compared to like AJ Styles because of oh. his, his style, his hard hitting style, his athleticism, how he puts things together. And, and I'm, you know, all three of those guys, I'd love to be in the ring with any day because I think those are three of the best performers of all time. I think we might see that match. We're sitting here talking to Will all damn day. Did I get it right? The main event, Will all damn day. That's right, there, right? I have to give you a cue card. I can give you a cue card. All right, real quick, we're going to wrap things up here. I appreciate you uh, giving the time here on the Championship Wrestling Podcast presented by Be Free CBD. What is next for Will Allday? Will we be seeing you more on Primetime Live? Where can we tune in to find you other than Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingo every Saturday at noon? Well, you can absolutely plan to see me on Primetime Live again and Championship Wrestling and Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, but... If you guys need a little bit more, you can also check me out at Reality of Wrestling. You can check me out at SWE Fury, which is also on Fight. There, there are uh, many TV shows that I'm a part of and I'd like to be a part of because that's my goal. The end goal is to be uh, on TV, on the top of the mountain in one of those major league promotions. And so I'm not going to deviate from my goal and go do these shows that are not going to get me to where I need to be. That's that's what I'm going to do. And, and I don't think there's any better place to be than championship wrestling. We appreciate that. I, I have to ask you before I let you go about Booker T because I know everybody, when they hear reality of wrestling, they think Booker T what's it like working with Booker? What has been your experiences with Booker? How did all that come about? Well, I've only met the guy once. Okay. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's, 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 he's my head trainer. He's a guy uh, who's kind of put, you know, the finishing touches on me when I was starting and then helped polish me, you know, even through today. And he's the guy that really got me prepared to do these TV type wrestling shows. And, you know, I can't say enough good things about him. He's, he's a psychological genius. He, I don't know how he knows half the things he knows about the wrestling business, but he's just, he's amazing, man. Very, very cool. Anything, one last, uh, any last messages that you want to send out to Memphis or we have listeners all across, literally all across the country, especially here on, on the YouTube channel. 
anything that uh, you want to send out to the listeners before I let you go? Yeah, and it's a cheap plug. It's follow me on my social medias or YouTube. It's the same handle. It's at I am Mr. All Day. And not only for content, not only for highlights, not only to make your day every day, but to see where I'm going to be and see what I'm doing so you can catch me in action. We'll do it, brother. I appreciate you. Hey, thank you very much, Dustin.